Hey guys, I don't know if I ever did a review on my Husqvarna lawn tractor. Um, it's the uh, YTH 18542. It has the uh, Briggs and Stratton intake 18.5 uh, 540cc engine. And uh, uh, so far, I've been pleased with the lawnmower. Uh, the only problem I've really had up until now is. The deck shakes like a madman. Grass catcher didn't come with it. I've had that for a long time. Kind of fits most riding mowers, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, the other day, my stepson, he was back there and he was throwing across the fence, throwing some limbs in the bushes over there. And he left the mower running. And, you know, if you leave this on, you get off of it. You know, if you leave the blade on, you get off of it, it cuts off. And, uh,. He turned it off and on this mower it has the setting on the ignition where you can uh, um, put it uh, where you can back up with it with the blade on otherwise you have to turn turn the blade off to back up but this one here lets you back up but um sorry sinuses is driving me nuts today the mower shut off on him while he was across the fence throwing some limbs in the woods. So we tried to figure out what was wrong with it. We thought maybe the seat switch was bad because uh, there's a, a switch right there in the seat. I messed with it. It seemed to be working fine. What would happen is when you turn the key, it would act like it wanted to crank and it would fire and it would shut off. Just immediately shut off. I'm like, it's weird, it's like it's not getting any gas. So I took the gas tank off, cleared the gas tank, cleared the gas line. It has a vacuum hose up top there, like a PVC valve. It was actually stuck. You know, I don't know if you can see that right there. It was actually stuck. And I cleaned it out and got it working again. And it still wouldn't run. So what I did was um, I took the carburetor off. And I cleaned the carburetor really good. And that's the serial number and all that heavy stuff. But I cleaned it really good with carb cleaner and everything. And then I figured out this doohickey here isn't supposed to move. So something happened to this. This is what they call the fuel solenoid. And it has a little pin that um, when you turn the key, an electromagnet opens it up and allows the gas to go into the carburetor. It's an anti-flood mechanism of some sort. Anyway, it's hard to find this particular one for this mower because it has a little seat on the end of the pin. Uh, other ones have just a pin that goes straight up in there with a point. Some of them even have like a little flat piece on the bottom. But this one here has a little seat that goes on it. And I couldn't find one that wasn't $40 to $100. Why that little piece would be that much, I don't know. I could get it from China for eight or nine dollars, but I didn't want to wait a month to a month and a half to get it, if at all. So I did some research and I found out that that little pin that goes up in there, uh, the uh, anti-flood mechanism, you can cut it off and it will let the gas through. And after I cut that little pin off, it worked fine, cranked right up immediately. So you know what, let me take that off and I will show you what I'm talking about, okay? Give me a minute. Okay, this is the little doohickey here I was talking about. It's that pin there, I cut it off with the Dremel. It actually goes in and out. And it's like a little electromagnet right there. And these things have been around for decades. I don't even know why they even try to get as much money for them as they do. I mean, they're in everything. They're in washing machines. They're in uh, dishwashers. They're in um, refrigerators. Uh, they're just different sizes but anyway uh, there's a little wire this wire right here plugs in right there and when you turn the key it activates that magnet and it pulls that little pin down well I just cut that little pin off and it fixed the problem uh, immediately cranked right up because it goes up in that little hole right there to help it uh, to let it uh, have gas into the carburetor and this here just fits right through the bottom of the bowl like that and you just you just turn it, tighten it up, it tighten that, that nut right there on there 
that's just a 12 millimeter bolt a nut rather <laughs> anyway there you go and see how that turns the nut that's the way it's supposed to do but when it gets tighter now I didn't do that it was already like that but when it gets tighter see how it slips it's not supposed to do that and uh, I, that's how I figured out that was probably what the problem was but um, anyway yeah, like I said it's just a it's just a little 12 millimeter nut that's on there sorry about the sunlight it's blinding you but um, once you get it back on there and tightened up you just hook that up but I, I plug it in it don't do no good if, if, if you want to know if this is working or not you have it plugged in turn the key and listen and you'll hear it click you'll pull that little thing down like that and you'll hear the click if you don't hear that click then <clears throat> it's bad so um, if you have an issue where your lawnmower will turn over with the key but it won't crank chances are that's what the problem is <clears throat> now if it won't turn over at all that's because one of your switches like you have this engaged if your brakes not on it won't turn over at all if you're not sitting in the seat when the blade is engaged it won't turn on it won't I guarantee it won't crank at all so yeah um, if it's if it's one of the safety switches it won't even turn over so you don't have to to worry about those but if it'll turn over and it might pop the first time like it wants to crank and then it shuts off then it's this thing right here and if it's not that you could have a clogged fuel um, filter um, something like that but more than likely it's this little doohickey right here it's the fuel solenoid so um, you can cut it off like that or you can go and buy a new one and replace it it's really easy like I said it's just a 12 millimeter wrench and it has to be a skinny one if it's not a skinny one it's not gonna fit in that little gap okay and it's a pain in the behind to get in there to tighten it up so see how see how I'm having to do it here you could take this off if you want and get to it easier but once you get it tight like that don't over tighten it because if you do you strip it once you get it tight you're good to go and I disconnected the the fuel line so that uh, the gas coming out I just disconnected that so I could so I didn't have to clamp off you can clamp off the gas line or whatever you want but it was just easier for me to take it loose because I didn't have a pair of ice grips on me at the time but that's all there is to it so I hope this helped you out like it helped me out when I found out I just want to spread the word there's a lot of people out there talking about this thing here and this is like I said the Husqvarna YTH 18542 lawnmower with the Intec 18 and a half. If you have a fuel solenoid, check it. All right. If this video was helpful to you, leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, I hope you have a great day.